Hello again, everyone. I'm Patrick Wade with the Champaign County Joint Information Center, bringing you another video update to keep you informed. Uh, today, we're talking about talking again with local leaders about masks and face coverings. Now that we have been through our very our first, it was a very nice weekend under the executive order. Um, Champaign Urbana Public Health Administrator Julie Pride is with us today. And Julie, I know you've discussed this before, but it seems worth repeating. Uh, why are the masks, masks and face coverings so important to prevent the spread of COVID-19? Okay, the masks are important because they prevent you from breathing out droplets that could, if you're asymptomatic, they could have, or if you're symptomatic, they could have uh, viral particles in them of COVID-19 that could make you sick or make other people sick. So the importance of that is your mask is really keeping your germs from going out into uh, the public and in infecting someone else. This is especially important when you're going into businesses such as grocery stores or to pick up a prescription at a pharmacy or um, a, a building. Um, the importance of that is that you are protecting their workers um, and other people that you come in contact with. So um, if you think about in the winter when you go outside and you see that plume coming out when it's cold out, that's your breath. And that is made up of tiny water droplets. And if there's virus in that, you can see how far that spreads and how by keeping the mask on, you're preventing that from going out um, and infecting other people. So I thought I would talk about how to put the mask on and to wear it properly. So the first thing you want to do is to put it up over your nose, if it has the nose band, and press that down and then just use your thumbs or your fingers to pull it back over your ears if it's the ear loop kind. And then what you're doing is you're just making sure that your nose and your mouth are covered. Um, and that's, that's really all there is to it. This is not the proper way to wear a mask because air is also coming out there, your breath is coming out there. Um, you see a lot of this too. It's not, a, it's not a fake beard, so don't wear it like that. So again, this is, this is not the proper way to do it. Uh, this is. So make sure that it's sealed if you have that around your nose and that it's just covering covering up your face. And then when you go to take it off, you just use your thumbs to, to take it off. I've gotten mine caught in my glasses. And then take it off and then lay it uh, face down so that the, the um, part that's up against your face, that's a contaminated part, is um, sitting up. And then you can leave it on uh, various things, leave it on a paper towel or put it in a, a, like a paper bag or something until the next time you use it. Okay, thanks, Julie. Uh, next, I'll turn to Rantoul Mayor Charles Smith. Uh, Mayor Smith, can you tell us about what Rantoul is doing to keep residents safe and why wearing masks or face coverings is such an important part of that? Yeah, I sure can. Um, the village of Rantoul, uh, of course, we're encouraging everyone to uh, follow the state guidelines and protect themselves uh, during this crisis. And if you have PPEs to, to wear them and observe social distancing and lack of physical contact, no meetings over 10 people, those types of things. What we're doing inside the village is uh, basically we're uh, uh, taking all the precautionary measures uh, by staggering our shifts with our employees. Um, and we're distributing face masks and face coverings to all of our employees as well. Uh, it was a good demonstration. I, uh, probably I need to get out and have uh, Julie come up and show them how to put it on. But uh, uh, we're also working with uh, the Champaign-Urbana uh, uh, Health Department to monitor new cases that we recently have. And we're waiting for information on the tracking of those cases. Um, we are trying to emphasize, and I did it just last week with, uh, I do a, a weekly um, information uh, on Facebook. Uh, emphasizing how important it is to use precautionary measures uh, to protect yourself and your loved ones. Uh, I was just out last week, uh, actually yesterday, and uh, in the public I had a face mask on. The lady asked me, she says, are you wearing that to protect you or to protect me? And I said, both. And I said, where is your face mask? And she says, I, didn't, I don't have one. And uh, so I, I recommended that she use it because uh, having something is better than having nothing at all. So... Is there, is there more that you'd like to have from around the village of Rantoul? No, that sounds great. I, I appreciate the update. And yeah, I think um, definitely if someone doesn't have a mask, a face covering or a bandana or a scarf, a t-shirt, anything is, like you said, anything is better than nothing. So that's exactly that's right. 
Yeah. And we are encouraging the homemade mask. I mean, we know the surgical masks like they um, are, are out there also. We want people to conserve those. And then, of course, the M95s are there. But uh, we like to, those are critical for our, our medical and uh, people and our first responders. Sure. To keep that supply chain open. Yep. Sure. Thanks, Mayor Smith. Uh, next, I'll turn to Mayor Diane Marlin from Urbana. Uh, so Market at the Square opened this weekend, and it couldn't have been a more perfect uh, opening day weather-wise. Can you tell us how that went? Sure. Well, Market at the Square is sponsored by the City of Urbana, and we worked very closely with the Champaign-Urbana Public Health District and the State Farmers Market Association to develop guidelines for the market. And um, many of those guidelines included, um, you know, people protecting themselves and customers and vendors. So we required everyone to wear a mask if they entered the market. And we had, I think, 100% compliance over the course of the morning. About a thousand people came through. Our market was changed from a um, market full of vendors, uh, you know, food vendors, artisans, community groups, et cetera. It was stripped down to be a food and uh, soap only market. So re food and hygiene were there and we had a couple of people selling masks, but many of the rules um, were designed to keep people moving through the market, practicing safe physical distancing, covering their faces, no touching the food. We minimized contact with the product. In fact, there wasn't any contact with the product between the um, customer and the, the vendor until they got it home. So, um, it, it, it took a lot of planning and um, close monitoring, but it, was, it went very successfully. Now, when, when the numbers increase, um, it's going to get more challenging. That's just something we'll have to deal with. Sure, but that's great to hear that in the meantime, there was such good compliance with people wearing masks. That's yes, encouraging. Yes, and, and, um, and really, I, literally everyone. Yeah, that's great. Okay, uh, so Champaign Mayor Deb Finan is also with us. Can you tell us what, what are you seeing in Champaign? Are residents doing a good job of wearing masks and uh, sticking with social distancing? I think we're still in the education phase. Um, we certainly have a majority of people who are wearing masks, but we still have people who are learning what the new normal is. And I think people struggling with the rules, you know, when do I have to wear it? And, you know, is, do I have to wear it when I'm outside or I'm physically distanced versus inside of a store of some or an indoor area? And so as people become more familiar with the rules, I think um, we will continue to see more compliance. Um, we're working very hard on education. We think that's really important. So, you know, rather than um, being punitive at this stage, we are encouraging people to encourage their neighbors to comply. And, you know, from an enforcement standpoint, we are doing the same thing. We want to make sure that people have access to a face covering. And I think that's something public health has done a wonderful job at talking about. It doesn't have to be the traditional mask with the uh, elastic ties. If you've got a bandana or an old t-shirt or whatever it may be, it's important to have a face covering. Okay, great. Thank you for that update. So uh, thank you to all of our local leaders for joining us today and keep taking a minute to keep us informed. A couple last resources that we always want to mention, uh, the website at champaigncountycovid19.org always has information about the local response and local updates. And anyone out there who's seeking assistance or local resources can call 211. 211 is a service provided by the United Way of Champaign County. Uh, you call to, dial 211, you get hooked up with a, a trained specialist who can find those local resources for you. So thank you again to all of our leaders for keeping us informed. And thank you to our viewers for taking a moment to learn a little bit more about what's going on in Champaign County. We'll see you next time. Thank, thank you. you.